The Episode 8 title was just announced on the Star Wars channel as The Last Jedi. I really like that title, and I'm going to talk about what we might see in the movie based on it. So, The Last Jedi. The obvious connection is, of course, Luke, who currently is The Last Jedi. I think we've all been assuming he would train Rey to be a Jedi, but now I'm not so sure. We know that Kylo Ren and Snoke are not Sith. There's something new. So maybe Rey will be comparable to them. Maybe Luke won't train her to be a Jedi, but train her to be the first of a new order, which will literally make Luke the last Jedi. The new canon has been highlighting some of the downfalls of the Jedi Order from the prequels. I even touched on this a bit in my Rebels Review Sunday. But things like becoming more clinical than spiritual about finding new potential younglings show that the Jedi have somewhat lost their way. I think the bigger issue, though, is emotional attachment. It was forbidden in the prequels. Yet, Luke is able to redeem Vader in Return of the Jedi strictly because of his emotional attachment. He refuses to fight, claims there's still good in him, and ultimately spares his life for the love of his father. Interesting that in the Force Awakens novelization, Snoke also tells Kylo that emotional attachment was Vader's downfall, the reason he couldn't stay devoted to the dark side. So maybe Luke has realized, and honestly I think Yoda had also come to accept this by the time of the original trilogy, that love is an incredibly powerful weapon. I know that sounds cliché, but maybe Luke tried and failed to teach his first round of students under the old rules. We know he's read Obi-Wan's journals in the comics, and Lor Santeca helped him research the old Jedi. So maybe Luke was a very cold teacher, which would make him cold to a nephew that already had a distant relationship with his mother and father. Maybe lack of emotional connection is what helped drive Kylo to the dark side. All this is to say that I think Rey will be trained differently. So what might that look like? Well, I would personally love to see Luke and Rey wreck some face with the Force, but Jedi aren't supposed to use the Force to attack. I'd be okay if that rule went out the window too. Again, to jump back to my latest Rebels review, I called Kanan a stepping stone for the Jedi as they become more moderate in their beliefs. It's intriguing that this episode was released right before the announcement of the title. There very well could be some clues in there about what's to come. The last thing I feel I should talk about is the red color scheme. Red is obviously connected with the dark side in Star Wars, so this seems to be implying a darker tone, which at this point is kind of a given. Everyone expects this to be the Empire Strikes Back of this trilogy. So I would say another possibility based on the title is that Rey rejects Luke's teachings and abandons him, which would be another way to make Luke the last Jedi. I find that option very unlikely, and I don't think I could handle seeing Luke's heart break like that, so I'm not going to read too much into the color other than to say, okay, it's going to be darker. And just because, why don't I throw in a Snoke theory here since those are all the rage? Maybe Snoke is the last Jedi. Maybe he actually is Mace Windu, or another surviving Jedi from the Republic that's come back and he's pissed. I mention that mostly as a joke. I doubt that even more than I doubt that Rey will leave Luke. But that's all I've got for now. What do you guys think of the title? Do you have any speculation of your own? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.